Time to start building a city. Hey, 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 how's it going everyone here with a bit of a bonus video for all you kaiju lovers out there. Uh, now, whether you want to just uh, spruce up your display, uh, liven up your shelf, um, or maybe just to take your uh, kaiju Godzilla photography to that next level, um, we've got some buildings here to check out. Now, I guess to preface this, I had these two buildings here. Uh, which you've probably seen in some videos before. Now these are made by a company called Preza. Uh, they're just almost like a um, IKEA flat pack uh, set, and they've been really good. Uh, they're 144 scale, uh, so a little bit on the slightly big side, um, but yeah, they work really well for um, a destroyed rubble building. Now, maybe if you're like me and you're working a lot of long hours, uh, you might get a bit bored and you kind of want to uh, do some retail uh, therapy. So that's what I kind of did recently. Um, well, in between some meetings, I went and actually bought two more of the Preza buildings. Uh, so this is destroyed building number five and four. Now I've actually already made them up. One, two, yeah. And yeah, they look really nice. But I have been eyeing these bigger ones at the back here um, for a while. They've had them at the uh, local Yorubashi store that I go to. Um, and these are made by Ikato, and it's a, well, the brand Diorama Town. Now these are Engage, so that is a 150th scale, and that is a type of, well, the Engage is a type of uh, gauge for the tracks for the model railway trains. And I think these buildings kind of work really well uh, for the ASV Kaiju line. Now the SH Monster Arts, they don't have a specific scale per se, so these don't match up exactly right, but I think they're close enough uh, for some cool shots and just uh, go with them in general. So I posted a pic of these on Instagram I had a couple of requests for doing a video to see what they're like. Um, so I think it's a good time to compare with other buildings I have, mainly these Preza ones, but um, my wife got me this awesome Tommy Tech one for Christmas. Um, again, engaged a 150 scale, it's got two little buildings. So I think it's a good chance to compare three different off-the-shelf brands, uh, Tommy Tech, Kato and Preza, um, which are all easily um, available in Japan, which means you can jump on Amazon Japan, um, other hobby import shops. I'm not sure if Hobby Genki does these um, types of products, but I'm sure if you reach out to them, uh, they'll be more than happy to uh, get them for you. So yeah, let's uh, check them out. I think we'll start with, ooh, let's have a quick look at the Preza, then Tommy Tech, then the Kato. So I've got the Preza buildings here, so I've got four, I think there's maybe seven or eight in the line. I mean they're all slightly different uh, shapes and styles of buildings you see in Japan, and they're all the kind of broken rubble ones. Now as I mentioned they come in flat packs, so you've got an inner cardboard box, um, and inside there you have the instruction and the pieces. Uh, so if I have a look at the instruction here, uh, you can see that you have like the different parts laid out, you've got A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, and you just yeah clip them together it's kind of like a weird ikea um, lego hybrid so you can see the marks where they join um, but since it is a broken uh, rubbled building it's not too noticeable so these are the four that i have uh, so this is definitely half building gone uh, works really nicely oh it wasn't on camera this one here is the half destroyed building. I think it works really nice to have in the background. It kind of gives it a little bit of extra detail. And then you've got the kind of smaller building here for cool kind of corrugated roof. Um, and you've got yeah, the doors there. Yeah, I mean, they're simple, but really nice. Now, one downside to these is, as obviously you can see, they're just a straight plastic gray color. Uh, so they are kind of bland and boring. Um, however, um, if you've got some of those painting skills you can easily give these a paint job so i think for myself when i get the chance i want to go through and kind of give these a bit of a paint job maybe do one that's like beige color maybe one bit of a earthy green um, and get some more vibrant colors in there and then add some weathering and highlighting uh, using like the tamio um, weather kits um, one other cool thing with preza is they also do roads so this is a uh, street corner one I have 
um, what is it? Preza Diorama Road Line Rare PBGR04. So if I move these off to the side, you can set up the road. It gives you the uh, footpath as well, and then you can kind of set up the buildings on the edge here. Um, so you can give yourself a really cool looking uh, street corner or city center. Okay, I've just adjusted the street a little bit, but if we put Godzilla in the center, yeah, I think he looks pretty good. I mean, he towers above the smaller buildings. Um, the other back one, he's kind of just poking above it, but otherwise he kind of fits in quite nicely uh, with the overall uh, cityscape feel. Uh, Prusa also makes some really nice rubble. Uh, so yeah, these ones work really nice. You can kind of put them off to the side. Uh, helps to fill in any gaps or um, seams you might have from where uh, the different plastic areas join or maybe you want to use it to um, cover the background uh, so these are really cool you can kind of combine them with a the building so it's rubble that's come down as well so I think if you do get these and combine them with the um, rubble so you could also paint the buildings a similar color so they blend in a bit nicer as well um, one other thing is these ones here it is a straight road uh, though this one is a slightly different color um, so you can see there you've got the two lanes and these other sidewalks uh, so you can do that to give yourself a nice long line okay so i've set up the straight road here for buildings just behind with some rubble so, so yeah with godzilla in the center there i think they look really cool uh, so depending on the angle even with only one road and a couple of buildings you can still get some really cool shots in and uh, maybe a real nice close-up of his face and arms looking down um, you can also use some of the rubble here to place in a location uh, to block the um, foreground as well. Uh, so it does give you some cool options with a few limited items. So yeah, um, Preza, awesome for destroyed buildings, slightly on the big side, not painted, uh, so they do require, I guess, that little bit of extra attention um, and time to kind of bring them up. Uh, to match in with other buildings or if you're going for a bit more of a realistic look but if you just want something simple to slap together and put on your display yeah can't really go wrong pretty cheap like 1800 yen Japanese company uh, they do have a website so you can order direct the website is outdated uh, though they are working on an updated version so hopefully in the future it will be a bit easier to purchase but overall uh, pretty good and let's jump over to Tommy Tech okay over to building number two and that is from tommy tech uh, so this is another train uh, accessory brand company uh, so they do the engage which is the 150 discount as mentioned earlier and they have a lot i mean a lot of options in different buildings so if we swing it around to the back here and um, we can even see some of those options uh so, i mean there's a straight blue building um yeah, they've got cars, buses, trucks, all sorts of um, pedestrian crossings. They've got like banks, hotels, uh, new buildings, old buildings. And um, one thing that's really cool, they do have a, I think a four-story and a five-story pagoda. Uh, so you can set the whole uh, Japanese um, temple look as well. Uh, that's something that I actually want to look into doing um, down in the future to match up with the uh, like 54 Godzilla and so forth. Uh, but yeah, I have actually opened these ones already. Um, though haven't taken any photos yet or well, haven't done too much that's my plan for tomorrow um, but yeah, this one is a two building set uh, so the tops can come off and they do have a loose base as well now I believe that is because with these train set ones they're kind of designed for you to be put on a base and um, we can put LEDs underneath to get lights and everything like that which is really cool uh, so this one I think the front part pops off as well yeah here we go uh, so for these ones, I haven't done it yet, but it is a plastic sheet, if I take it out. Uh, so you've got one, two, three plastic windows. Uh, so these can slot in front to give you that actual proper window look. And we do have some additional stickers there, I guess for signage on the buildings. Uh, so it does give you a bit more variety. So even if you buy multiple of the same kit, uh, you do have a couple of different options. Uh, for how you want to display, so you can get a lot of that variety going, which is cool. Uh, which way around? I think this way here. Yeah, there we go. So there goes the two buildings. So if we get Godzilla again, boom next to it, 
yeah there we go that's looking good so i feel like this these buildings um are a slightly better scale than the preza uh, just being 144 sorry being 150 scale means they're just a little bit smaller uh, so they kind of match up a little bit better, especially with the 2019 um, King of Monster uh, Godzilla vs Kong uh, range, since they are a little bit smaller um, in comparison to something like Shin Godzilla. Uh, but one good thing is though, the sizing isn't hugely different from 144 scale, so you can kind of mix and match pretty well. Uh, so these are the roads from Prism. And yeah, I think that meshes nicely with the actual buildings. And you've also got the rubble. Uh, so, mixing and matching is always an option. Um, but one cool thing about being a train item is they have a lot of accessories, uh, including people. Uh, so I have actually used these guys before in a, um, one or two photos. Fiddly, um, kind of had to use a little bit of blue tech to stick them down. Um, but yeah, you can get the different um, inhabitant um, sets. Uh, I think this one's, let me try and get this out without spilling. Mm, there we go. Focus. So we've got a lady. Um, I mean, these are wonderfully painted. They're small figures, not much detail. Um, but yeah, got the black hair, got the skin color, the pink purple jumper, a green bag. Um, so yeah, these give you a little bit more, I guess. Um, what is the word I'm looking for? Make sure photos or displays kind of come to life having that human element in there and it does give that kind of good scale next to Godzilla. Uh, so I'll be trying to use these in a few more photos going forward so keep an eye on Instagram for those. Um, but yeah, another item I do have, I haven't set it up yet, is this cool uh, construction wall um, scaffolding. Uh, have a look at the inside. Um, so yeah, like the Tommy Tech ones are a bit more build yourself, uh, depending on the set you get. But this one's got like yeah pre-painted um, wall um, framing, the scaffolding. Got the actual walls there, which is actually painted nicely. It's a nice green color with some uh, silver trims. Uh, you got the cone barriers, uh, the signs. So yeah, these are really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing this up in the future. I'm just gonna leave it. As it is for now, it's another highlight for this video. Just something actually I wanted to show that you do have options um, with a Tommy Tech brand. I um, mean, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, you've got everything from uh, roads, uh, training stations, um, office buildings, construction, um, 101 different types of people, animals, trees, so lots of options there. Um, and so, yeah, I think that will bring us into the first section, and that is the new building. So, let's get those out. Okay, jumping into the main buildings for this video, and that is the Kato Precision Railroad Models Dio Town. Uh, we've got the three buildings here. Uh, we've got Broadcasting Building, Corporate Office Building, and the Fifth Avenue Building. Uh, so I'm guessing they probably have other ones in this line. I haven't looked too closely. I don't see these around too often. I think these ones might be quite new, or maybe a re-release. Um, but yeah, the boxes are pretty straightforward and simple, uh, so let's just pop them open. Um, I haven't even opened these ones at all. I literally just picked them up today as kind of a spur of a moment. I've been working too much this week, so I wanted to have some fun. Uh, so how does this go? Okay, yeah, that looks nice. It looks, looks and feels solid. So yeah, let's just uh, pop each one out of this box and we can line them all up. This one's looking good. Um, one reason why I'm actually quite uh, attracted to these ones is because you have a cafe that's shown in this one, uh, Dotoru, uh, Doita. Uh, it's one of my favorite cafes here in Japan to go to. Um, kind of chill, read some manga. Um, I love their milk tea. Uh, so if you're ever in Japan and you see that cafe, I do recommend. Okay, and our third building. 
already these are looking great together uh, you can kind of put them onto the um, sides of a street um, especially with this one here you've got the three sides uh, this is a very common building design you see in Japan um, where you do have uh, it kind of crossing over on two streets and you can enter them from the side uh, your usual kind of uh, not even department store just a mini building actually I mean it's pretty cool you've got something here for a hobby shop um, you've got the recycle, so like a second hand store, you've got the bank down below, uh, so yeah I think that's pretty cool, uh, they've even got like a URL uh, just for their own um, Kato models um, branding which is pretty cool there. So one thing I do love about these is, I don't know, they have like really good detailing on the roof here. And you got, I guess, that water tower, you got the steps and stairs going up, you got the ladder on the side, uh, the air conditioning units on the roof that you do uh, see when you look down on top of buildings here. Um, the signage down the side. Um, yeah, I think they've done a really good job. I mean, you got the menu down here, which may be a little bit hard to see, uh, but we'll jump into that kind of shortly. Okay, so I guess underneath here, um, if you, I think there's a hole there, so maybe, I'm not sure if this comes off now. Oh, okay, I think you can probably unclip it here. Um, but you can probably run some wires underneath and go up here for some LED. Um, so that'd be cool, so you can light up a whole building. Um, okay, this might be a little bit hard to see, but I've just put my phone underneath so you can see the light coming up. Uh, so you might need a bit of a uh, stronger light, but I think um, if you kind of uh, set up a cool base of some LEDs, and you can definitely get some extra lighting coming through buildings, which is cool. Okay, let's switch over to the other building, which is the center one. Uh, so down the bottom, uh, the Grand Comfort text written on there. Uh, with a cafe, you can see the menu on the inside. I see um, the shelf of coffee, and you've got the menu on the outside there. Um, the other floors in the building is quite blank, uh, but you do have the cool signage down the side as well. Um, yeah, again, the detailing you got all the, I guess, the pipes, the power breakers, and you got the windows on the back and the aircon units on the roof. Again, looks really cool. You've got the same kind of hole in the center there, which I assume you can uh, run lights all the way through the center um, column. Yeah, looks awesome. Oh, I think the third one here is one of my favourite ones just because you've got the nice curves in it. Like a lot of the buildings, when you look at like the present ones, are all just very straight angular lines. Uh, but this one actually has nice curves and you can see the stairwell through the glass. You've got the um, fashion shops down below. Um, yeah, you've got the big sign, the um, Maruichi Maruichi, uh, kind of zero and zero one. So yeah, I think that's really cool. You've got the outside staircase as well. Yeah, I mean it should colouring detail on the top these are awesome I mean if you're good at painting you could probably take these to the next level by adding an extra weathering highlights or anything like that but just by themselves I think they look fantastic so put them off to the side there you can even match them up nicely with the Preza Roads uh, so you might need to get a couple of these to kind of run and down quite long but yeah I mean looking good let's get Godzilla out Boom. there goes Frozen Shin Godzilla, and yeah, he looks wicked. You can pose him up to have his tail going up above the buildings. Um, I mean, if you're going to do some photos and you want them above, you could probably put him behind the building and then pop him up a little bit. So he's just coming through. Um, so you can probably play around with uh, angles um, and different positioning if they're close or far away from the object uh, to kind of give you that slightly different sense of scale. Because, uh, I mean, 150th. The Godzilla's, they don't really have a set scale for monster arts, but I mean, I think it still works pretty nicely unless you're trying to go for that 100% accurate uh, realism from the show, and that's something that isn't as important to me. Now, speaking of sizing, how do the Comico ones fit? Let's slide it in here as well. Okay, so I've got the uh, Tommy Cow ones here next to the Kato, and yeah, I think this one looks really good. If you've been to Japan, you would have already uh, noticed that you get a lot of, um, I guess, a good mix of buildings. You get the big ones and the small ones, some of even real tiny uh, kind of shack in between. Uh, so having this nice variety is, I think, absolutely fantastic. Um, and if we match it up with the uh, Preza ones, I think, you know, it's not too bad. Let's move that out of the way. 
So yeah, I think the present ones do match quite nicely with the 150 scale, even though they're slightly off, it's not really enough of a difference to really stick out or be odd. Uh, so you can definitely mix and match uh, the rundown destroyed buildings with the more pristine ones. Uh, so for example, you could probably put these broken down ones around Godzilla as he's walking up uh, towards the new shopping district uh, with some people running away. So yeah, I mean, these are three different companies uh, all making really cool straight off the shelf ready to use buildings some a bit more ready to use than others in the case with their presa uh, since you do kind of have to paint them if you want but yeah i mean other alternatives uh i, what, I think i managed to show he posted a free template for paper downloadable buildings so that's an option you can always get some card plastic sheets and create your own buildings like architects do um, I think if I had space, I'd love to try and do that, try and recreate some iconic Japan buildings. Uh, but yeah, if you just want to pick something off the shelf and go for it, yeah, um, check out these companies, um, Kato, Tommy Tech, and Preza. Highly recommend, I'm looking forward to taking some photos, and um, when I do, I'll be checking them up on Instagram. So that brings us to the end of this video where we've checked out three different brands that make badass buildings. Um, we've got Kato which have these wicked uh, department store style ones. Um, they also have a lot of small buildings as well so they do have a huge range along with Tommy Tech um, which we saw uh, two of their small buildings here which work and match nicely with these other ones. And we've got Preza which is the flat pack IKEA style and uh, destroyed buildings along with their road and rubble. Um, and obviously with Dominic Tech we did see the Little Wee People too. Um, but yeah, if you just want to take your, I guess, your shelf, your detail up to that next level, add in some buildings to contrast with uh, your SH Monster Arts, I mean, you can't go wrong with any one of these brands. Um, and yeah, I mean, Ava figures, in Gundam, anything like that, I think these just kind of elevate your uh, display to that next level. And if you're taking photos, I mean, these work really good. And, and since they have their own base, they're pretty versatile, you can lay them out in different arrangements. Um, so yeah, I think even with just a small section of buildings, uh, you are able to get a lot of variety and use out of them. And if you enjoyed this video, just seeing these kind of extra accessories, uh, and you want to see anything else like this going forward, please do let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll be happy to try and add in some more videos like this. Um, heaps of SH Monster Arts coming out. Um, yeah, get order. If, I get this video out before then that's coming next if not there's a stream of Godzilla SP ones and I'm definitely looking forward to the head order set later this year and uh, let me know in the comments below which Godzilla figure you're looking forward to most for 2022 I'd love to see um, what everyone is looking forward to anyway again thank you very much for watching and until next time cheers